Okay. Here we have a practical problem in hand. Okay. And this is in respect of the rational numbers. Jack walked 4 and 3 upon 5 kilometers from an entrance towards north. Okay. So there is an entrance out here. Okay. Right. Now, this is the direction chart which is there. So you have north, you have south, you have east and you have west. So, from the entrance, okay, John walked towards the north. Okay. So, let's say is the entrance is at this point and from here he moved towards north by 4 and 3 half kilometers. So, for 3 by 5 kilometers he walked from this point to the other point and then from that place to 2 and 3 fourth south. So, once he reached this place he moved and came back towards south which is 2 3 by 4 kilometers south. Okay. So, from this place you moved north and then you came back south. How much is the distance from the entrance to the ultimate position? So, let us say your entrance is here. You moved this much but you came back this much. So, what is the distance from this point until this point? Obviously, it is the difference between what I walked in total from this point to this point less what I came back right. So, that is going to be 4 3 upon 5 kilometers less 2 3 upon 4 kilometers. The assumption I have taken is that I have moved from this entrance towards the north. Okay. If I would move from this point towards the north obviously, it is going to be again this side. We are taking a straight move. We are not taking any kind of a curved move. Right. So, whether you move from west, whether you move from east or any place, the moment you go to north, that means you are going in this direction and then when you come back to south, it means you are coming back this way. Right? Or in other words, this will be how much? 4 plus 3 upon 5 minus 2 plus 3 upon 4. Right. Now, 4 can also be written as 20 okay, upon 5 plus 3 upon 5, right, minus 2 can be written as what? 8 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4. We have just converted the denominator of these two into equivalent denominator vis-a-vis -vis this, right. So, for these two, 5 will be the common denominator and then we add the numerators 20 plus 3, 23 upon 5 minus for this 4 is the common denominator we do 8 plus 3. So, this becomes 23 upon 5 minus 11 upon 4. Right? Now, because these two denominators are again difference, so we take the denominator of the new one as the LCM of 5 and 4. Again, because there is really nothing common, so the LCM has to be a product of these two, which is 20. Right? So, we will convert each of these fraction with the denominator of 20. Right? Now, 5 goes into 20 how many times? 4 times. So, I multiply 23 by 4 as well, which will give me 92. 4 will go into 20 how many times? 5 times. I multiply 11 with 5 and this will give me 55. Right? Now, given that the denominators are common, I will take the denominator as 20 and I simply subtract now from 90 to 55. Right? 92 minus 55 gives me 32 plus 5, 37. 
okay divided by 20 which is the answer so the distance which is left behind is 37 upon 20 or you can write this as 117 upon 20 this you can easily obtain by dividing 37 from 20 you want me to show that to you 37 divided by 20 120 minus 37 minus 20 is 17 right so 1 becomes your whole number the remainder becomes the numerator and the denominator becomes the divisor becomes the denominator right